Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to delete your Twitter account. First thing, let's launch a Twitter app. The first thing you want to do, you want to click on the top left corner where is your profile picture. Then when you're on your account, you want to click on the lower side where it says settings and support. Then the pop-up menu will help you to identify that the next step should be settings and privacy. You click on settings and privacy. Then you want to click on the first option, which is your account. You click on your account and the last part of the menu and the last step, of course, will be to click on deactivate your account, the last option. You want to click on this one and here you will find out information about what is about to happen if you really want to deactivate or delete your account. This will deactivate your account when you click over here on the lower side where it says deactivate you're about to start the process of deactivating your account. The display name, username, the public profile will no longer be viewable on x.com, x for iOS and Android. This means that once when you deactivate, even people who followed you, uh, you know, they cannot be able to find you even if they Google for you. On any device, on any browser, on any software, you're not going to appear at all. Second thing, what else you should know before clicking delete or deactivate your account. You can restore your X account if it was accidentally or wrongfully deactivated for up to 30 days. This means that this is the same rules that apply for Instagram and Facebook. Uh, I believe this is the same for TikTok, not sure about TikTok. But when you actually click delete or deactivate accounts on these platforms, Usually they will give you 30 days grace period in which if you change your mind, you can still go back, log in and recover your account with your data and, and everything that you previously done on the platform. Uh, on Twitter, it's a little different. They said that if you have any active paid subscriptions, we all know here there is a lot of, uh, you know, subscription features that are only available for people who are paying premium. Everything will be automatically cancelled according to them. You can manage a subscription through the platform. Uh, some account information may still be available in search engines such as Google or Bing. Do you see that? On the first part of the information, they said that you will no longer appear even if people using Android or iOS. But in the second paragraph, they're mentioning that, hey, you know what? Your account might still appear in Google search or Bing search. Bing is very, very powerful now. Remember, they... They include this AI version of the search engine. So things are getting very, very deep. Also, they're mentioning that if you just want to change your username, you don't need to deactivate your account. You see, they, they assume and they try to find the reasons to keep you on the platform or try to solve your problem, right? It's very interesting. Uh, last but not least, if you want to download the data, everything, all the files that you publish, all the tweets, you can actually do so. You will need to complete both requests for your X data and download process before deactivating your account. Very, very important, guys. So if you really want to delete and deactivate your Twitter account and you're not planning to go back in 30 days period, you want to make sure that you submit the request for all your files, data, activity, tweets, posts, retweets, everything that they have for you and you receive this before you actually click deactivate. So the process might take longer. I, I assume this is the reason for it. Let's presume you just created your account, right? And you don't know what's going on. So let's start with the lower settings over here. On the lower left side, you have the small house. Okay, this is your feed. Usually here, you're going to find either people that you follow or people that you subscribe to. Okay, this is your followers. As usual, all the people that publishing stuff, it will appear over here. This is not a new thing, okay? You will have on one side all your followers, okay? All the information. And then you will have on the other side for you, okay? This is celebrities uh, or people that are, you know, popular voices that are publishing a lot and uh, attracting a lot of uh, attention. This is how the Twitter algorithm takes to recommend particular content to you, okay? Nothing new, I presume, over here. The second option over here is the search. This is where, in my opinion, a lot of interesting things are happening and it is very different. 
So when you click on the magnifying glass, you will enter to the actual Twitter public feed, which is not related to your followers or your interests. This is where a lot of news will appear and everything will be simply broken down into categories. For example, it will be sport, it will be business and finance, it will be type of content between, uh, you know, pictures and videos. And then there will be a trending hashtags underneath. So all the hashtags that you see over here is related to the daily, very, very popular, very, very interesting news. Uh, if you're into one of these, you can simply follow the actual hashtag. Then if you go back to the upper side of the actual menu, you will see that the next is what is currently trending as a top topics, very similar feature as the Google Trends. Remember when you go on Google Trends, you will see what is in the last 24 hours or in the last week or month, uh, what is currently trending. The next function over here is news. Uh, this is again, same thing that you saw on the first page that was for you. But essentially here, everything is grouped into uh, different segments, being business, technology, uh, being a particular company related to the, to the sector. And this is how essentially the algorithm structure the news and the main figures that are part of the news. So it will be much easier for you. For example, I come over here, right? Grayscale, probably for a lot of people not from the crypto industry, this doesn't mean anything. So they're going to move on, right? Uh, essentially, you're going to go on Coinbase. Oh, yeah, I know Coinbase, for example. Yeah, and business finance, and this is trending. And you're going to simply jump and read more about it. Going back, then the next section is sports, right? Very similar training page, I would say, to the one that we have here on YouTube, right? Everything is kind of broken down into entertainment news, what is popular in each of the categories. Some people actually, uh, you know, sometimes stream these games. Uh, so if you're into some of these games, I know US Open, a lot of people streamed US Open. So people came over here and watched. The last section is entertainment. This is what uh, usually we can speak about like fashion, they speak about like movies, uh, you know, some trending, you know, products or services, cool stuff. The next section is recently up updated the lower center of the screen. You will see this weird box with a small uh, dash on the side. This is where you will find the chat GPT version of uh, Twitter. This is Grok. This is the A chatbot Grok. Uh, currently, it's available only for premium users. Essentially, this is a feature that comes when you actually subscribe to the premium. You will get, uh, you know, Grok, which a lot of people are comparing with uh, more like Bart AI than ChatGPT because Bart uh, has been getting advanced and more accurate in every single day. The next function over here is the actual bell. This is where you're going to get all the notifications where, you know, people message you or, or someone said something or, you know, Twitter is really uh, trying to push the, the verified batch and the premium subscription and everything is kind of filtered. As you can see on top, you get notifications from everybody and then you can get filtered notifications from verified users and then you, you see the mentions, right? This is where everything is kind of broken down because if you if you have a lot of traffic, if you have like a lot of followers, so you're going to get like tons of notification and it will be hard for you to go over each one of them. The last option over here underneath is, of course, you are going to receive messages and your messages will simply appear only if you opt in to receive messages. Uh, messages are optional, right? You can simply go on your settings and, and disable people uh, capability to send you messages. It's all up on you. Last but not least, if you really want to publish something over here, guys, you will see on the lower right corner, there is a plus sign. Uh, you can simply click and start creating your post. Remember the limitations of the actual uh, characters. And also remember that the new, the new updates from the algorithm from Twitter will not allow you to make a duplicate posts. Meaning if you publish one and then again create a new post and you try to publish one again as a number, 
you will get notified from Twitter that you just recently published this. So the way to bypass this is simply you have to change something. Like you have to change, you have to add a letter or you have to add a picture. You have to add something or you have to remove something from the previous post so they will not have the exact match. This is the basic rundown guys if you want. In depth, I'm going to explain to you. I have more videos about monetization and about the premium features. Uh, go check out my videos, but if you want uh, something in particular for me to explain, let me know in the comment section. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to monetize your Twitter account and start making a lot of money. People have been reporting a major payout so far. So let's dive into the Twitter app, the new X, and let's go and see. So the main point over here, guys, first of all, I want to show you where are the monetization strategy if you click on any of these you know i would say very popular posts okay if you scroll down in the comment section you would see that there is an ad in between the comments okay so you see a couple of comments and then boom there is an ad couple of comments and then there is an ad let me show you how you can actually get qualified for the ads all you gotta do is to go on your profile, scroll down and click monetization. When you go on monetization on X or Twitter, right? Currently there are two available options to make money on Twitter through Twitter two programs. Okay, first one is subscriptions. Essentially over here, people will be signing up and will be paying you monthly subscriptions that uh, you know will support you, support your page, right? Your tweets. Uh, the content that you're providing very similar to patreon nothing new over here let's go over the requirements the requirements of course are not so crazy first of all you, you gotta get verified meaning that <laughs> you gotta pay for premium uh, service premium subscription for twitter you're gonna get the check mark and then the next one it's 500 followers and the next one essentially is to be active in the past 30 days and to be at least 18 years old <laughs> very simple i believe uh, people who are not already on twitter or you know just thinking about it they can qualify for this very easy the second option where i believe the more money are and i've seen a lot of people getting uh, you know reporting a lot of payouts over there are over here ads revenue sharing remember how i showed you on the opening line in the video how there are these ads that are, you know, precisely placed in between the comments of the viral post. Not only on the viral post, I would say on, I would say more popular post. So the requirements over here is that point number one, you should be subscribed to premium or verified organizations. So this is something that I already mentioned on the first option. You gotta be a subscribed premium member or user of uh, Twitter, okay? Second uh, requirement is that you should have at least 5 million impressions on your post within the last three months. Three months, 90 days, 5 million impressions. Let's say you publish 10 times a day, right? That's not bad. 10 times a day, you have 90 days, right? So think about it, you could actually generate these 5 million impressions. And the last uh, requirement is the same as the first option of the subscription monetization. You should have 500 followers. So this is how, you know, people are making the most of money. I've seen people receiving payouts of $20,000 just from these ads in the comments. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So I believe, guys, this is a very good opportunity. Especially if, if you are into news, right? All these people who are, uh, you know, publishing or covering news on a daily basis. It's crazy how much money these people could be making. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi, guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to delete your Twitter account permanently. First thing you want to do, guys, you want to launch the Twitter app. When you're at your feet, all you got to do, you want to click on the upper left corner. So you will be able to go on your profile landing page. When you're at your profile landing page, all you got to do is to click on the lower settings and support. When you click on settings and support, you will have additional pop-up menu, which will allow you to click on settings and privacy. 
click on it. When you're at settings and privacy, you want to click on your account. When you're at your account, you want to go and scroll all the way to the last menu, which is deactivate your account. Click on it. When you're at deactivate your account, you need to scroll all the way to the bottom of the page and click deactivate. The very important part over here is that there are some changes that will appear with your account. After you click deactivate, you will have 30 days to reactivate or recover your account. Very important, if you want to download your data, you cannot schedule your account for deletion. Meaning, if I want to delete my account, but I want my data as well, I have to request my data before I click delete. I have to request my data from Twitter. I have to wait, receive my data from Twitter, and then I can click delete. Because if a schedule, if account is scheduled for deletion, they cannot simply go out and get my data. Okay? But this is how you delete your Twitter account permanently, guys. For more tips and tricks like this, subscribe and follow for more. In today's video, guys, I'm going to show you how you can actually download Twitter videos from the platform for free. Let me show you how this all works. Let's launch the Twitter app first and let's find a video that we want to download. Let's scroll down and let's try to find a particular... Let's try to download this video over here. So, the first thing that you want to do is you want to click on this small arrow over here where is the share actual. When you click on the arrow, you will be able to copy the link. After we copy the link, the second step is even easier. I want you to go on Google Chrome and I want you to look for this app over here. It's called twittervideodownloader.com. You want to click on it and then essentially you can come over here and you are going to paste the link. We click paste the link and now we're waiting for the video to get processed. You click download and this is how your video is essentially processed. You have two quality options to download the video from. Be very careful, there are plenty of other download buttons on the site. You want to make sure you click the exact one, okay? For more tips and tricks like this guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can share any TikTok video on Twitter. Very easy guys, very simple. First thing, let's launch the TikTok app and let's scroll through the feed and let's try to find a video that we want to share, right? It has to be something that other people don't have, right? Just think about you sharing TikTok video to some of your friends on Twitter because they don't have the TikTok app, right? So let's say we want to share the Jeff Bezos interview here, right? All we gotta do is to click on the arrow, okay, under the comments, and then you wanna scroll down this menu on the side, all the way to the X platform over here. This is where you can essentially click and share, and this will become a public post on your Twitter account. Very nice, guys. Very easy, very simple. For more tips like this, guys, subscribe and like this video. Hi guys, in today's video we are going to go through what is Hi guys, in today's video we are going to go through what is the premium package from Twitter and X. What they offer you, how much you have to pay and what you're gonna get at the end of the day. Let's launch the Twitter app first. So guys, if you scroll down you will have a premium section in your settings right under the monetization when you click on premium you will see that premium plus is the current package offered from the x platform so first of all as you can see they're going to offer you a grok early access which is like a version of chat gpt that they created on their own okay you're not gonna get ads in for your page, okay? So you're not gonna have issues with that. Uh, this is something like you're paying for YouTube Premium, you watch videos without ads. Then you have a reply boost. We have edit post. You know, when you post on Twitter, you cannot edit your post. If you misspell something, you have to delete it. So it's good that you have this function. A longer post, right? You're no longer limited to particular uh, uh, you know, 
search terms or particular keywords or characters you can also undo post this is good because as we know sometimes you don't have other option you just have to delete it because you don't have undo post uh, you can post longer videos essentially you see a lot of people shifting from youtube towards uh, to twitter right so this is something that you also want to pay attention to if you're up to posting long form content also you have top articles you have reader which if you click on the small information read long threads minus the distractions so again this is uh, removing the ads you know making it easier for you to engage with the content and focus on the content you have a background video playback meaning you can play a video on twitter and you can keep scrolling through the feed and read other twitter uh, threads so you don't have to you know close one piece of content to open another you're able to download videos same function as youtube premium on youtube on the flip side you have a creator hub right you this is where you can actually get paid to post i made a couple of videos on the topic how to get monetized how much money you could make and the best strategy to do so you want to make sure you check my videos on the topic here on the channel they also have a created subscription this is the second option like i mentioned for monetization uh you have media studio which if you click on the info it will be manage measure and monetize your media on x that's all about like making money and analytics then you're gonna get the verification and security includes the check mark the encrypted direct message the id verification and two-factor authentication last but not least you are going to get customization uh, you're going to get app icons you're going to get bookmark folders customizable, customizable navigation highlight types hide your likes hide your check my so essentially they can power any like desirable feature from instagram youtube you know tiktok and they place it here it's cool but i think the prices went up now it's starting at 22 dollars when you click on it right essentially i remember this was like much cheaper guy if i'm not mistaken this was like to get monetized it was to not to get monetized to get a verification budget was like 10 dollars something like this you can save if you pay like a annual plan like 229 right instead of paying 22 dollars because you're gonna save like 230 versus 265 so you're gonna save like 35 bucks let me know what you guys think about this uh would you willing to subscribe i think for people who are making content make, makes much more sense than just an average user on the platform for more videos like this guys subscribe and like this video